Hey guys, so in this video we're going to show you how to create and assign a basic heater function for your Profilux 4 controller. Before we get started, there are just a couple of points worth mentioning. First, if you want to connect your heater at this time, feel free to do so. Just be sure to take note which socket number you have the heater connected to, because you'll need to know this bit of info later on in the video. If you'd rather not plug the heater in just yet, no problem. You can always plug it in once you've completed the steps that'll soon follow. The second point is in regards to creating and assigning functions in general. When you're creating a function for the P4, regardless of what kind of function you want to create and assign, the steps are always going to be the same. First, you create the function, then you assign that function to an outlet on your power bar. For the purpose of this video, we'll first start by creating a function that will control your heater based on your tank's current temperature. To do that, connect to your P4 controller with GHL Control Center and navigate to the temperature settings page. You can find this option by clicking on the plus icon to the left of probe and sensor controls. From here, select the desired temperature probe. By default, the P4 temperature probe will display the readings in Celsius. If you'd like to change it to Fahrenheit, simply click on Display and click on the drop down arrow. Select Fahrenheit and the probe will now display values in Fahrenheit. Once that's done, take a look at nominal value. This is where you type in the desired temperature value. If you'd like to maintain your tank temperature close to 77 degrees, type in 77. Next up, you have hysteresis. This is the section where you can set how much of a swing you want to allow in between the nominal value. The number you input here will determine when the function will be triggered. By default, this value is set to 20 degrees Celsius or 0.36 degrees Fahrenheit. Most will find that this value works for their desired range of control. If you wish to maintain a tighter or wider range of temperature control, you can always increase or decrease the value. If you wish to receive an alarm notification for this probe, activate the alarm feature here. Doing so will trigger an alarm when the temperature rises or falls beyond a minimum and maximum temperature. To activate this feature, select Active and specify the maximum allowed deviation. For example, with a nominal value set to 77 degrees, if the maximum deviation is set to 3.6 degrees, an alarm will be triggered if the temperature falls to and below 73.4 degrees or if it rises to and above 80.6 degrees. The last thing to do here is type in a description for this probe. For those that have multiple GHL temperature probes in their setup, this will help you identify which probe settings you are viewing and what system the probe is associated with. Now that you've created the function, it's time to move on and assign that function to a specific outlet on your power bar. To do that, click on the plus icon to the left of System and select Switch Channels and Outlets. From here, select the outlet that has the heater connected to it. Set the function to temperature and heater. Type in a description for this socket and set a blackout delay if necessary. This blackout delay option is a feature that will create a socket reaction delay in situations where power outages may occur. Instead of the socket immediately turning back on when power is restored, the socket will remain off for a specific amount of time. When that time has elapsed, the outlet will turn on and continue on with normal operation. Once you're satisfied with the settings, click OK, then Save Changes. Your heater is now officially controlled by your Profilux 4 controller. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you have any questions for us and need further support, feel free to reach out to us on our GHL support forum or by email at info at Until next time folks, take care.